Driving around Charlottesville can be frustrating, especially when going from one red light to the next and getting stuck as soon as you get there. Now the city wants to make it easier for drivers to get where they need to go on time. Kate Nectarline is live in the newsroom with a look at how it will do that and what it will cost. Hi, Steve. The city will do it with new technology that will coordinate all of the lights in the city. That could smooth things out for drivers, but it will cost taxpayers. It just allows us to be more nimble on our feet and uh, be able to adjust to those quicker. Whether that's during the school year when traffic goes up or after the school year or just, you know, we get new developments. Brennan Duncan is the city engineer in Charlottesville. He wants to make driving here more efficient. That, he says, starts with installing a new software system to link the city's traffic signals. Better efficiency leads to lower emissions. It leads to reduced drive time. Right now, the city's 75 red light intersections are not timed together or coordinated. That makes it harder and more time consuming to adjust to the ebbs and flows of Charlottesville roads. We've, we've needed it for quite a while. Um, you know, we're, we actually had an old one that kind of went defunct a couple years ago and we've just kind of been limping along. Duncan says implementing the software could cost anywhere from $250,000 to $500,000. Once the city accepts a bid, Duncan says it will likely take three to six months for people to reap the rewards. It's, it's not overly complicated, but there is some kind of just coordination that has to happen. The city is accepting bids up until October 8th and hopes to really accept one within the next month. That means you might see lighter traffic as early as next spring. Live in the newsroom, Kate Nitroline, 29 News at 5.